Hi and welcome. My name is Jessica Vaughn and I'm an artist based in Brooklyn, New York. My creative capital project titled Working Procedures is a constellation of artworks, sculptures, 2D works, and time-based artwork as well that I, will, that I will create in the next year that tackles specifically everyday structures that inform our understanding of labor, work, and the body. In my studio-based practice, I work with materials and images that are seen as the cast off, the residual, what gets thrown away or overlooked, what no one really cares about in the production or work process. So in 2016, I began procuring materials from the city of Chicago's public transit. The series after Willis rubbed, used and moved consists of seat inserts used for seating on these trains. For this work, I mount seat inserts to exhibition walls. To make this artwork and the subsequent artworks to follow, I navigate channels of formal and informal requests, asking questions, seeking contacts, and researching different sites of labor and city infrastructure. In the artwork seen here, named after the manufacturer's upholstery colors, these floor cutouts combine the bus manufacturer's leftovers of transportation upholstery, scraps with custom shaped plexi that mimics the existing industrial cuts. I like even the way that the material is physically manufactured to unravel and separate with ease. You sort of touch it and it falls apart. This unraveling is a reminder in a sense that there are actually people making and producing that work and running those machines. So there's this relationship to the machine and the body and working through space where oftentimes labor goes unnoticed or is treated as invisible that I want to make evident and will continue to explore in my creative capital project, Working Procedures. My most recent project, Irrational Rest at the ICA Philadelphia, was my first attempt with working with light as a material. Using the office workday that is dependent on clocks and artificial light as a starting point, Irrational rest consists of 132 light fixtures mounted on a 15 by 20 foot aluminum grid structure. Operating on a 24 hour cycle, the work is automated to run counter to the sun, shining brightness at night. When the gallery opened at noon, Irrational rest was at its dimmest. The piece reached its brightest point at 1 to 2 a.m. in the morning when the gallery was closed. The audience never saw the brightness, brightest point as seen in this video. The recent completion of my first light sculpture at the ICA was inspired, has inspired, excuse me, my current research and development into the time-based light sculptures for my creative capital project. For working procedures, I look to create smaller one-off standalone bulbs that can be installed on exhibition walls or ceiling fixtures. I will capture measurements of the intensity, color, and luminosity of lighting in different workspaces. I want to create a series of bulbs that reference back to sites of labor, including warehouses, post office facilities, grocery stores, healthcare facilities, schools, my studio, for instance, just to name a few. Here's an image of different bulbs that I've been researching and looking into to think about orientation, shape and form that these standalone bulbs can take. I'm inspired by the conditions of artificial light and I'm, and I'm particularly interested in how unseen measurements and the scale of light can influence how our bodies interact with the work we produce with others, our health and our comfort. Oftentimes the idea or concept I have for an artwork dictates the materials that I will work with rather than my expertise or comfort in a particular medium. For me, it takes consulting and collaboration with others and institutions to develop a project. To sustain the development of this new work and future presentation of it, I'm requesting for working procedures. One, a production management team that brings various expertise in lighting, programming, and construction together to create these light time-based sculptures to collaborators in engineering and or artificial light research interested in exchanging their research. Three, individuals connected with city agencies and or institutions like the post office, public school districts, 
and other municipal buildings who would be able to provide access to city en energy meter readings and specifications. And four, collaborative exhibition opportunities and partners interested in exhibiting this new body of work. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to collaborating with you in the future.